31 degrees. It's cold, isn't it, Boomer? Hey, Boomer. I wish I had his coat. Hey, Boomer. It's not cold. 61 is nice. We have all the doors open right now. The bedroom windows are open. We're airing out the house. I can handle this. This is nice. Ugh. He's going to need the heater on the heating blanket soon. Cold. We're going into summer and he's going to need the heating blanket. Crazy, crazy. Okay. Starting off with thoughts and prayers, guys. My uploaded life. Shawnee got her hand um, stuck in the conveyor belt at work and broke her thumb and none of her other fingers or anything was broken but very swollen very bruised very sore so anyway she's been having some really bad anxiety attacks from it since it's happened which is totally understandable so if everyone can please keep shawnee from my uploaded life and we'll put a link to their channel down below as well in your thoughts and prayers we would greatly appreciate that and Shawnee we hope you're feeling better yesterday I was telling you guys how Melody Mainville is starting a new journey in her life she is getting a gastric sleeve and she started a new channel she has officially opened the channel I don't believe there's any vlogs up as of yet but I'll put the link to the channel down below so you guys can uh, subscribe to it and look forward to the new videos coming up of her journey of her gastric sleeve surgery and the channel name is sleeved mail 2015 so look for that link and click on it and go follow along in her journey I'm going to be going through the journey not exactly sure of my surgery date I'm not going to do a whole new channel but we are going to do separate vlogs of my journey through this experience as well so hope you guys follow along with me on that and another channel we think you guys would really enjoy watching is tiger tb65 they do on their channel um, vlogs they do a lot of hiking he sings um, they do shout outs and he does what he calls you news so Go by and check him out. Give him a thumbs up. Subscribe. Show him some love. Okay. My question yesterday was, if you had unlimited resources, what would you do? Okay. I've got some interesting answers on this one. Angie Lupus Life. Travel more. Visit all her YouTube friends. She'd have to take me with her, though. <laughs> Tanya Longley, I really liked this one. This is one of my favorite answers. Live in a cabin on her own lake with a very nice porch that she can sit out on the porch and watch the wildlife. But we would have to have a cabin close by or live in the same cabin with her. <clears throat> I liked that answer. I need satellite TV. Of course. You can stay inside and watch TV, and Tanya and I will sit outside and watch the wildlife. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Greg Myers. He said he would take the neighbors to the zoo to see the polar bear exhibit. And leave Val there. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. And then he would take Nikki and John and Iris to the zoo, and then go back to Nikki and John's house to have a really good dinner. I think if you had unlimited resources, you should take us all out to dinner. Yeah. 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 Come on, Greg. Bambi S. I liked her answer a lot, too. She would like a small ranch with a couple of extra houses for people to stay in if in need of a place to live. Would sponsor a few families that have struggles due to job loss and such by paying their mortgage and utilities and alleviate added stress of them losing what they have worked so hard for in their lives like us she said <laughs> like us like us and yes yes we understand that all too well we are really struggling today was a very bad day here for us but uh thank you bambi that that is bambi has a a wonderful heart um 
you know, she helped us tremendously figure out lots of different ways to cut back on some of our expenses. And she also um, helped to pay for Boomer when we had to take him to the vet. And uh, we appreciate her very, very much. Dave Nicholson says he don't want it all, really. He just wants a nice home, not a big home, just a nice home, and a hell of a computer and TV. And I'll put a dollar in the jar for that because Dave's worth it. <laughs> and um, Crimson Fairy, another one. I really loved her answer. Buy several houses and not charge rent for the people to get back on their feet. She would still work, but she would also travel and take me with her. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. I do. I do, I do. Susie here. This one is, this one really hit my heart hard. Get in vitro fertilization and also adopt some kids. She would love a new car and buy a house and adopt some more fur babies. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Dougie style. He would hire people to do all his housework because him and housework don't get along. I would do that except being OCD, I don't know if somebody would, you know, if they would clean my house the way I want it cleaned, and that's that's very difficult for someone with OCD. Well, we'd have to pay somebody a lot of money to. I mean, I swiffer my it. ceilings. I swiffer my ceilings. There's spots up here, and it's driving me insane. I don't look up right now. Terry Johnson. She would make sure that her family and friends are comfortable she would give to her favorite charities, and she would take some trips, and she would redo her kitchen and her bath. And just out of curiosity, why not buy a new house? Maybe she likes her house. I know. I'm just asking. I mean, I would... Well, I can't say that, because if we had unlimited resources, I don't think I'd want to live here. I would want to move to the country somewhere. I really would. I, I, I would. I'm sorry. Tracy Quick. Best answer of the night. Best answer of the night here with Tracy Quick. She would travel the world, give to the people in need, live life to the fullest, and she would hire two hot young men to travel with her. Not one, but two. Who is this now? Tracy Quick. I'm available. <laughs> Hot young men. <laughs> you're hot, but you're not young. I was just about to ask, which part of that am I not? You're hot, but you're not young, baby. Yes, dear. <laughs> so that's what I have. Now, what would your answer be, baby? Well, mine's at odds with yours, but I bet you you'll jump on my bandwagon. Well, I, I think I know what yours is, and... We can make ours work together. Okay. Well, I would build the the ultimate Halloween party house. Where? I don't. Doesn't matter where. It just has to be the perfect place to have that Halloween party. And would it only be for Halloween parties? Well, there's all. Of course not. Be Halloween year round, like it usually is here. We'd have Friday the 13th parties, we'd have uh, all kinds of stuff. Okay, I thought you were going to be going in a little bit more of a different direction, but I like that idea, and I think we could make that work with my idea. Mm -hmm. My idea is to buy a, or build, a big Victorian-style type house, um, preferably up in the mountains somewhere. I'm not a I'm not a beach person. I'm a mountain person, and run a B and B. Who done it B and B? See that that would be perfect. And run a Who done it B and B. And then we'd uh, expand our uh, um, channels, and we could ghost hunt anywhere. That's the that's the key though. We would have to be able to have people to run our B and B because. I personally would love to turn our occasional paranormal investigation into a full-time gig. That's right. We'd hire Aaron Goodwin to 
bring all of this awesome equipment <laughs> and videotape us while we're gone. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd love to travel to Scotland, Ireland, Transylvania, Whatever. anywhere. Do old castle. I, I that's that would be my ultimate. Okay, so my question for you guys today is, who is the most famous person you have ever met? And what famous person would you most like to meet? And why? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. We got the right camera now so she doesn't feel weird about this yeah, one. Yeah, it's not like, well, Okay, well, the last question was about Zombieland, right? Yes. Zombieland. Why was number three painted on the back on the doors of um, Tallahassee. Tallahassee's car? Because he put it on the next car he got into. Uh, his character was a Dale Earnhardt fan. Which probably means either the writer or the director was also. So, and um, Terry Johnson also pointed out that the colors of the cars that he was driving in were the color colors. So. Well, that I wouldn't have known. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that either. And those who got it right were Bella Luna, Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Bambi S, Greg Myers. Now, the next one is actually on a, on a movie that's one of our, our Do favorites. Do you take out my Yahoo? No, I don't. Okay. I can't. No, I don't want you to. So, one of my favorite movies, 1408, 2007. John Cusack. John Cusack. It's a Stephen King story. I think it was a short story. But um, there is a number that keeps appearing throughout the movie, and it's not 1408. What number is that? Where does it show up? Very good question. There you have it, guys. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you watching us. We thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you guys all tomorrow.